Martin Popoff here from the Contrarians. Um, I wanted to uh, weigh in on this Kiss Avatar news, but before I do that, I wanted to mention I just have a new Kiss book out, a hardcover book, full color throughout. Uh, this is available at martinpopoff.com. Uh, still can sign them for people for Christmas or whatever, and you probably should get it at least in the States or Canada by then. Anyways, martinpopoff.com, Kiss at 50. All right. Um, so we know that Kiss just wrapped up and then uh, they played this video. They made this announcement of God gave rock and roll to you played by these avatars. Um, you know, I, I would like to see some other things instead of these avatars. I don't quite get the avatar situation. Number one, the graphics weren't very good. Um, you know, maybe they're going to improve. Uh, but even if they do improve, I still don't get the point. I guess they're kind of just making a movie because the, the you know, the other part of it is, what makes this unique uh, in terms of the music? Are we just going to get, you know, uh, you know, music piped in from various recorded live shows over the years or this tour or whatever? Um, so I don't know what the value is from the music is. Uh, and, you know, and then the, the value from the avatar end uh, is even lesser than the value from the music end. So I get I get what the idea is is here in terms of they're trying to do something new, which is good. Um, and they're trying to do something that will take no work by them and that can live on and be immortal. So that's good too. Um, but what I'd like to see instead of this, now this doesn't solve the immortality problem, but what I'd like to see this, this, so we've got the, we've got the kiss doesn't want to do a lot of work. We've got kiss doesn't want to do any work. This is in the middle. What I would love to see them do with some of these uh, last years they have left. This is Kiss doing a little bit of work, right? Um, so you know the the idea with um, okay, let's let's go with this one first of all. First thing I would like to see them do uh, would be make another studio album. I don't see why they can't get some songs, write some songs. They they still can write. They can still work with other people. Um, you know, they can, they can have guests, they can fool around in the studio with vocals. It would be good to see another Kiss studio album or two or three, like why not? Right. Um, other things they can do is instead of the avatar thing in a controlled environment where, you know, I get it. So what you want to do is not do a lot of work. So the idea is, you know, you can, you can maybe do a concert in a controlled studio environment and pipe that out to theaters and stuff like that. So you're doing some work, right? You're doing another concert, but it would be good to see them do some other songs. And of course you can fool around again. Uh, you can, you can, you know, do extra takes or, or re you know, do all that, all that crazy stuff kiss has already been doing live or on live albums. Right. So you can make it good. Right. Um, and then send that around. I mean, the whole idea with uh, with putting things into theaters or pay-per-view or anything like that is you want it to be unique and you want uh, it to be new stuff all the time, rather than something like this, that just looks like, again, leftover music because how else can you do it so it's unless you can get the ai to make you know to make new kiss songs or uh or to or to make better versions of, i don't know uh this is this is all coming down the pipes with ai and obviously yeah those images were not great last night um so you know that's got to improve as well um so so yeah so so there's way more that that um i think that these guys can do while they're still around and not do a lot of work. Now, another one, this is something I've, uh, I've been, I've, you know, I've, I've thought of, uh, you know, running this idea past. I'm actually going to pop, maybe even see Getty Lee uh, in, in the next couple of days, a long story. There's a, there's a, there's a filming thing I'm going to, but, um, but so this is an idea that I, I, I thought of like would be, Hey, you know, pass this idea along to Getty or whatever, but, the same thing applies for Kiss. So Getty Lee, what has he done recently? He's he's gone and basically done the gold standard of a book tour, right? Um, so what can you do when you want to go back to those B cities, right? What do bands do when they play live and they want to go back for another round or they want to keep touring? They want an excuse to tour. They play all of British Steel. They play all of Twenty One Twelve. They play all of Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. Whatever, right? So what if what if Kiss did? So here's the thing. So Kiss could here. Here's the thing. That's a lot of work, but it's less work than playing live. They can actually go on book tours, right? No, uh, spoken word tours. I don't mean book tours. I don't mean like make another Kiss book or whatever. They've done enough of that, right? Um, they, they could um, they could go on spoken word tours. But here's the second level thing. This this B city go back to the, the thing. What if what if you did book tours? 
where, you know, the Kiss guys, and this goes for Getty, you know, just think of it the, the same way, or anybody, or Bruce Dickinson, for that matter. I mean, he's done book tours, and he could do this, right? So what if, uh, what if uh, the Kiss guys did that little extra little bit of homework, went and played their old albums again, read the lyrics, uh, maybe even had tracks available to, to uh, you know, to, to listen to again and talk about what it was like or whatever, and say, we're going to do, we're going to do spoken word tours. And, uh, you know, Cincinnati's getting 45 minutes of, of hot in the shade. Um, San Diego's getting 45 minutes, our best interviews we've ever done on Destroyer. Uh, you know, San Francisco's getting us thinking deeply again, 45 minutes of interviews on asylum. Um, we're, we're going back, we're doing our homework. We're not just giving you the can generalities. Uh, and like I say, this is, you know, seeing this Getty Lee situation uh, really made me think of this because, you know, you know, I did those that big trilogy of Rush books, right? Had all that stuff in it. And I did some other Rush books and now Getty's done 500 pages or whatever it is of, of uh, you know, my effing life kind of thing. But um, wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't the fans like, uh, you know, to to uh, to have these all happen? It's like it's like, OK, now now Getty's going to do his homework and he's going to give you the 45 minute chat on power windows. Right. And then he's going to go to uh, Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, and they're going to get 45 minutes on fly by night or whatever. Collect them all. Right. You know, the fans, rush fans will say, I'm, I'm going to fly over for that one. I'm going to drive to the next town over for that one. Right. I'm going to buy tickets for that. Um, so Kiss could do something like that. Now, the other thing is that's kind of interesting here is that um, why doesn't Kiss just do that in a controlled environment environment and pipe it in like a theater show? Uh, you know, the same way that ostensibly this whole avatar situation is going to be or uh, or they're going to go on tour or whatever it is. Right. So you could do all of those things and uh, and just do. So that's them doing some work. Right. Um, sitting down and doing this, but they can do it in a controlled environment and not go on the road and deliver these talks or whatever. But they could do it live, interactive or whatever. But, yeah, just just have these things as theater shows going all over. You know, every Kiss album talked about. Right. Collect them all. Right. Maybe there's little backstage passes that go with them all or whatever, you know, co you know, collect the cards that go with them, uh, that that kind of thing. Um, so there's that there's that idea. There's the there's the spoken word thing. There's the new studio album. And this is something I've been saying, you know, I've said it on some some kiss shows, you know, Pete and I have talked uh, recently, John Gaffney and I have talked about the whole end of kiss thing. So I'm not going to go into the whole end of kiss thing again. I'm not going to give you a review of the last concert or any of that stuff, but Here's the other thing I've been saying for ages, and I and I did a history in five songs with Martin Popoff audio podcast called Crazy Ideas, where I I went through through this idea. So so the general idea, in the shortest possible way to explain it, is sing the phone book, right? Um, so the idea is that um, you know, Gene and Paul, and you know, I mean, the Kiss organization, you know, possibly. The first thing that comes to mind when they say, what is the most valuable thing we have in this camp? It's our brand, right? Well, I think the most valuable thing you have now, and it's and it's going to wane, it's it's a precious commodity that's going to go away, are those amazing, gorgeous voices, right? Gene's amazing voice, Paul's amazing voice, forget about singing live, I'm just saying he's got a great voice, right? Um, and and in a controlled environment, in a studio environment, he could he could turn out a lot more stuff. So that's that studio album thing. But, you know, what about what about going in and doing a bunch of covers? What about going in and uh, switching up the vocals on uh, on a bunch of songs and, and putting that out as something or putting that out as a theater tour or whatever? Like, imagine imagine taking uh, 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 three or four Kiss albums from the 80s and switching all of Paul's Gene's vocals around, going using the actual same musical tracks and just saying, here, here, here's the new version, uh, you know, um, of Tears Are Falling with Gene singing the whole thing kind of thing, right? Um, so you could do stuff like that. You could get Peter and Ace involved again. Again, I, you know, Ace thinks I'd go out making, you know, it's commendable. He's going out, as, he's making new music, he's touring, he's doing all this heavy rock and roller work. Right. But again, he doesn't realize that, that one of his, like the best, the most valuable thing he has in his life in terms of a money earner is his voice. Same with Peter. I've, I've been saying this for years. Peter's kind of produced more or less nothing over, over a lot of years, but he's got this amazing, amazing, cool voice. Right. So what if he can't drum anymore? Kind of thing. Use that voice. Right. So 
bring Ace and Peter back and do a bunch of fooling around with vocals things, right? Um, so yeah, there's there's all of that that can happen. You can make new music with those guys too. You can make more music with Tommy and Eric, right? Um, there's there's lots of stuff you can do. So I uh, again, I I think you know the the sky's the limit. There's a lot of interesting things you can do um, on this AI front. Uh, it's kind of interesting that um, you know I I joked the other day I think talking with Pete that Gene will probably be one of the first guys you know smart enough to to um, you know figure out this this whole AI spectrum and how to legally protect his voice um, because like I say that's the that's the most golden commodity he has right um, but. Uh, some somehow they'll find out to use this AI space better than this avatar thing. I don't I don't quite get what the whole point is of of this avatar thing, but um, but yeah, they they will they will probably find cool ways to do that. But I I think right now um, what would be kind of cool to see out of these guys is is for them to think in that that mind frame of um, of uh, okay, yes, you're getting older. Uh, it's hard to do things live. Um, and, uh, you know, any of it, the travel, the moving around, the, the half singing, whatever you're doing up there with pre-recorded tapes, whatever. It's it's like you, you've you've earned the right, uh, of course, uh, to not do the heavy work. Um, yes, it's fun to look for things where you have to do no work. But what about that middle space for the next five years? Just make use of, of what you've got. And the most important thing you've got is, uh, is songwriting ability. And uh, and those voices and use those voices and make more more new music and all that stuff. And and yeah, sure. Figure out ways uh, to put special, unique events into theater situations. Uh, but again, this whole avatar thing is is mixed up with the fact that there are YouTube videos. You know, how is it different than a video? How is it different from a kid's show? How is it different from? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There, there's just nothing particularly unique about it. I mean, it's it's. You know, as the com the comments have been scathing, right? You go on YouTube and, and it's like, oh, even even fake your kiss than we get now. Oh, great. You know, all this sort of stuff. And someone there was a funny one. What did it say? Is I can't wait to pass this up. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so I don't know. Maybe maybe we're not getting the concept uh, yet. Maybe it's going to evolve. Maybe it's just going to crash in flames. We're never going to hear from it again. But um, yeah, I I can see uh, I can see there probably are some really interesting AI things to do. But for now, use this space to do the little bit of work and come up with unique things. And like I say, you don't have to even take talking on the road. Uh, maybe make that your theater show or whatever. All right. So I'm starting to babble. I'm starting to go in circles. There you go. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, it's uh, it's amazing to see the end again. We've got this Kiss book here, which just came out exact same time as Kiss is ending up, kind of thing. Uh, it's uh, it's nice how the publisher planned all that out. Um, but uh, but yeah, so we we just saw the end last night. Um, you know, the set list uh, is the same as the 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 set list has been going. Pete and I talked about that a lot. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Um, you know, and maybe you know, Gene has talked about one off sort of other kinds of things. So maybe that's uh, all mixed up in this as well. But uh, they kept it pretty secret, didn't they? You know, this Avatar thing, and they they and they put it out. Um, but yeah, even in the comments, people were saying, uh, oh, you can hear from the crowd like no one really kind of thinks this is a good idea or whatever i don't i don't quite know how it is a good idea um but maybe as it evolves and it gets explained and and it changes um it will be a good idea of some sort anyways uh long live kiss whatever version they're going to yeah we didn't even talk about c continuing on kiss i've already talked about that in in various shows uh how how that could be done um well you know i'm gonna mention that quickly so so yeah, I, I've always, I've had lots of talks with people about this. Yes, and Leonard Skinner and all these bands evolving and David Coverdale hiring a replacement for himself and all that kind of thing, right? Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, what I would like to see is like Gene or Paul, one of them goes and then then we go two, two, two more years or whatever with that. Um, and then the other goes, I know it's a big shock. Uh, it's different than pulling off the band aid and replacing all four guys with something else, because I don't think you could really do that. Uh, but yeah, Tommy and Eric have been there for a long time. They're super talented guys. Um, you know, uh, and, and, you know, bring in someone I've, I've said this as well in these very shows, but bring in someone who's just like maybe a generation younger between 40 and 60 years old kind of thing. Right. Um, 
who's a superstar who loves Kiss as well. So we respect them because they've they've got a career of their own, but now they're going to be the Kiss guy or whatever. I don't know. It it could possibly be done. Um, but uh yeah, I, I don't know. I uh like I say, just make use of those voices. Sing the phone book. That's the uh, that's that's the last thing I'm gonna say. Sing the phone book. <laughs> 